Welcome back to our expansion draft. Uh, if you missed the last episode, I did the first 16 rounds of this expansion draft, which is taking place after the 2021 MLB season. We simulated one season, and now we're in November of 2021, taking over the Hartford Whalers, who have joined the AL East. Uh, just real quick, who have we picked? Well, Carlos, I'm sure... So. I already filmed the first episode, but I haven't released it yet. I'm sure I butchered his name and some of you have corrected me, but we'll just call him Carlos. Uh, but you know, you haven't corrected me yet. Like as I'm recording this, but as you're watching this, you will have, um, so he's got a 70 range. So we picked him first overall. And then we went with a 70 catcher ability, Ali Sanchez. Uh, then we went Aaron Sanchez, the pitcher, pitcher, Brett Phillips, the outfielder, Nick Anderson, the reliever. Genesis Cabrera, the starting pitcher. Joey Wendell, Anoli Paredes, the starter. Mitch White is a starter. Um, we found some value here with like starters who were listed as relievers. Like this, this is really good fastball. Uh, this is a pretty decent pitcher, but he's listed as a reliever. Um, but he, they can start for us. Uh, Blankenhorn, an outfielder. Jungman, a pitcher. Camargo, a third baseman. Ali Castillo is like the best we could do as a shortstop for now, which is. Uh, really truly something so we're gonna have to address that need somehow l some other way uh pete fairbanks a pitcher minter the pitcher and brian o'grady who's a left fielder but also can play first base so um what will i be looking to do here balance out the roster a bit in terms of handedness so right now i have so i've drafted three four five six seven eight hitters and Four of them are lefties. One one is a switch, leaving three righties. So I'll probably be looking to add some right-handed hitters. Um, I won't, like, you know, reach too far for a righty, but I will add points if you're a righty, and I probably won't be looking to add too many lefty hitters, although Matt Beatty uh, is a guy who I'll probably try to add at some point because I think he's a decent player. Um, okay, so let's get down to it. Uh, let's see who the Quebec Nordiques want to take in the next round. They take Philip Barrel Evans. Man. His nickname's Barrel. Wow. Uh, he barreled up some balls last year, but was below average with the bat. Um, okay, let's see who my scouting director recommends here. Yeah, I don't want you. What if I ask for a hitter? He's been wanting me to take this guy forever. Uh, what if I say first base? This guy's middle name is, or nickname is Barrels too. Pat Faleka, Orioles legend. Uh, outfielder? <laughs> that guy again infielder Derek Hall oh this guy was a Phillies prospect for me um he had a decent year in AAA last year but he's 26 and struck out in 31 percent of his plate appearances five ball hitters nice though I don't mind that um you know Austin Dean is a decent player Kyle Farmer has a lot of versatility He's a leader, got good work ethic. Yeah, I'm going to go Farmer because he is a decent shortstop. I mean, he's an okay shortstop option too. So we're going to go Kyle Farmer. Listed as a catcher, but we won't play him there, I don't think. Quebec is going to take catcher Jacob Nottingham. Okay, go for it. My scouting director recommends that guy still. What if or Brent Honeywell, all batter, still that guy. Uh... It's not a bad player. He's only a first baseman, though. Heinemann's a decent option, too, with that 65 range. Man, Ryan O'Hearn. <laughs> no contact and can't avoid Ks. What did he do last year? He struck out too much, but he ripped it up in Triple A. He's a lefty, though. Nah. Actually, this guy's pretty decent. Matt, I can never, I don't know how to say his last name. Tice, we'll call it that. Face. Um, man, he's pretty decent according to my scout. Yeah, I'm going to draft this guy. He is a lefty, which I don't love. I have way too many lefty bats, but he can play corner infield. Um, so we're going to take him. They take Bryce Wilson. It's a nice pick. Young arm, 23 years old with those three pitches. That's real nice. Um, scouting director recommends Honeywell. What if I want a reliever? Lucas Sims. Huh. Lucas Sims is a decent pitcher. Of course, his stuff will come down once he goes to the starting rotation if he's a starter. We don't get all relievers for a second. Uh, 
and rank them by stamina and see if anybody like is hiding out as a reliever who's actually a pretty good starter. Like Nick Green is not a bad player. He's a ground baller. This guy's really not bad at all. By not bad at all, I mean relative to like whatever, the 19th round of an expansion draft. Uh, obviously nobody here is objectively great. Uh, yeah, I don't know if there are like any more really good arms out here that need to jump on. Poor guy, fly ball pitcher with low movement in Colorado. <laughs> Doesn't stand a chance. Sean Poppin. Good work ethic and intelligence. Oh, yeah, this guy. <laughs> He's got 25 control, though. He walked 6.7 guys per nine for the Dodgers last year. He pitched 24 innings for him. Yeah, he wasn't any good in AAA either. And if you could get that control even, like, to be bad, he would... uh but he's not even bad. <laughs> if he could improve to being bad at control, he'd be set. Matt Hall, decent, decent. Yeah, I don't know. There's not like an arm jumping out at me here. Let me look at the, there are actually like a bunch of good relievers out there who I think are decent trade bait. They're also way too expensive. Um, Jose Alvarado, his control sucks that bad, huh? Strikeout to walk ratio wasn't terrible. I'm going to take Jose Alvarado. He's super cheap, I think. Yeah, 1.2 million. Yeah, all right. Quebec takes... Ooh, t t uh, Tyler Wade. He was a guy I think I looked at earlier. Um, all right, scouting director. Still wants me to take that guy. I don't want to take him. Oh, Tyler Rogers is out there. Not to be confused with... What's his brother? Taylor. Um, Whitgren. This is a really decent reliever, too, and he's cheap. Look at these pitches and that control. Uh, oh, Austin Adams. Again, terrible control. <laughs> Jeez. Daniel Bard, Aaron Bummer. I kind of like Bummer. No, oh, I should probably go for like, well, I don't know. Steckenrider, I think, would have decent trade value because he's super cheap. Yeah, let's go Steckenrider. Really, for these relievers, I'm looking at, honestly, probably trading them. Oh, they took barrels. They've got two guys nicknamed barrels now. How are they going to work that out? Um, Pierce Johnson is a decent option. Blake Trinan's really good, but expensive. I'm going to go Trinan, though, and try to trade him. They pitch, picked pitcher Brian Abreu. Did I, look at, did I look at this guy and see his control, or did I totally miss this guy? Because that's a good pitcher, man. Shit. I mean, he did walk 8.5 guys per nine in the majors last year. He's got some warts. But, man, that's a, he's got some good stuff going on there. All right, what if I want a batter? Xavier Fernandez, a catcher. I'm definitely not picking him. All infielders. Austin Allen. No thanks. All outfielders. Dustin Fowler. Uh, I don't really need another lefty outfielder. Two of my three outfielders I picked yesterday are lefties, but I will go back to the bats. Let's look for like a good contact. Jonathan Daza is out here doing things. Decent outfielder. Got a minor league contract with out of option years. So he's rule five eligible, I guess that means. Look at this guy, he's only 22. Oh, this would be like our top prospect. He had a 138 WRC plus in A-ball last year. Yeah, let's let's pick this guy because he's so young. Let's do that. Oh, this guy's young too. He got 65 range. All right, I'm coming for your prospects next. Oh, Trent Thornton, taken from the Blue Jays. Yeah, look at a couple of these guys. Oh, not Para. Pablo Oliveras. No, I kind of like this guy with the 65 range, 70 air. He wasn't good in AAA last year. But we're going to go with him. Picking up a couple of, like, youngsters. Nick Niedert. Okay, good luck. God, I do not want to take that guy. Stop suggesting him. Oh, this is a very decent ball player here. The righty outfield bat. Absolutely mashed in AAA last year. Let's pick him. It's 26. 
Oh, they took Brent Honeywell, who my scout had been asking me to take. Jesus. So let's take Austin Allen, Dustin Fowler. Uh, Daniel Robertson, how's he doing? Eh, had a really good year last year, and mainly in AAA. Abraham Almonte. Uh, Uh, power. Is there like a masher out there still? Mm. Well, Justin Upton's out there. His $28 million salary. <laughs> uh, let's just go ahead and take this guy that my scouts have wanted me to take since like the fourth round. He can't play defense anywhere. That's so for No, I don't. He does have a good bat though. He's a fly ball hitter. Maybe we can force start. All right, whatever. I'm going to just take him because my scout's been bothering me to take him for a while. He's on a minor league contract at least. All right. Eric Lauer got taken. So pitchers, we have 11 pitchers. Now, a bunch of these dudes are starters, a bunch of them. Um, who's listed as a shortstop here? Not that we really have to have somebody who's listed as one. Are there any like players worth looking at? Any prospects? Ooh, I kind of like this guy with that avoid K's. Good power, line drive hitter. Ripped it up in double A. Yeah. I'm taking Jose Miranda. Yeah, let me look at the backup catcher situation here. I don't have one yet. I mean, this says I have two, but uh, this Buck Farmer, who I'm not planning on playing a catcher. Um, I drafted a lefty, so I wouldn't mind taking this righty. I mean, it's going to be ugly. Like, the backup catcher is just not going to be a good player. Bruce Maxwell looks not terrible. I'm going to take him. I also support his right to do what he wants during the National Anthem. Do whatever you want, Bruce. It's fine. It's a sporting event. Yeah, I like Daniel Robertson. He caught my eye earlier. Yeah, I'm going to agree with my scout here. We're taking him. I think we need to take some pitchers, although... Oh, Billy McKinney went. He was a guy who I kind of looked at earlier, but I don't know. Just didn't see a home form with him. Albert Elmora. Uh... Mets legend. This is really a decent player, man, like in terms of expansion draft because he can field and his bat is like not going to totally embarrass him. So, yeah, we'll take him. We're taking more pitchers. That's a good pick. So I'm going to go back to all pitchers. I'm going to look at pitch. What do I want to look at? individual pitch ratings. Does anybody just have like obscene pitches? Like in three of them? Tanner Rainey's not bad. He can't start, his stamina is not good enough. Like this guy. Ah, oh, the control's so bad. His control was terrible in double A last year. I can't Don't like the extreme fly ball. I already looked at that guy. It's a decent, decent player right there. I think I'm gonna pick this guy. I wish he had better stamina so he could possibly start, but I'm gonna go with him. Max Schrock. Oscar De La Cruz is a decent player. Miguel Diaz. Yeah, let's pick him. I like Miguel Diaz, actually. I'm surprised he's out here. Getting a lot of minor league contract, guys. Mike Ford. Nice. What round are we in? Oh, 32. We've only got a few more rounds left. Making this pitcher. Yeah, I can get down with that. He's not great, but we'll take him. Nah, I don't really 
really feel like taking a 30 year old outfielder to be honest this guy has three pitches that are 70s wow go dude oh alex reyes his elbow uh, stamina is down to 35 i don't think we can do it taylor hearn he's got a 35 stamina fly ball pitcher but look at those pitches let's go with him let's take taylor hearn They took a catcher. Recommended Monte Harrison, who I really don't mind. Um, but that avoid K's is just pretty atrocious. Uh, let's look at a guy. It's Matt Beatty's still out there. I'm going to take him, dude. I think he's a good player. I mean, he's versatile. This is our last pick. They picked, oh, Derek Fisher's out there. Go, Derek. Okay. Who do we want to take here? Is it Mr. Irrelevant here, the last pick of the draft, right? Is that what we call him? Um, any really good contact hitter left? Jonathan Daza is still out there. Yeah, I'll pick him. Ian Miller's not like great with Ruth Range right now at 60. Okay. Would you like the computer to manage the mission? No, you can find the judgment. Yeah, we'll just let the computer do that. That's fine. Go to town, man. Um, so who did he like add versus not add? So we've got eight players in the minors. Um, including the guy who's going to be our starting catcher and our starting shortstop. trying to figure out how to make this lineup work well all these guys are rule five eligible and i don't really have any need to lose any of them so we're just going to call them up all up for now and we'll figure out the rest later i remember drafting that guy oh he's 22 right all right did, i wonder if that changes anything not really palma comes in and gets a little time how about here? How's he see our staff shaking out? So Sanchez, Paredes, White, Miguel Diaz. I don't even remember drafting Jeffrey Ramirez. Did it say what draft? Oh, round 32. That's when I <laughs> wasn't paying too much attention. Nick Anderson is out here. Didn't I draft? Did I never draft? Uh, I thought I picked up, uh, what's his name? Zach Britton. Did I, ever, did I never pick him? Oh, I thought about it. So, yeah, let's go for today. You know, I don't think I have any money now. No, I have no money. Because they can, I'm not going to be able to sign anybody. Because we got, yes. Uh, where is it? Player expenses. Like, I think, I think he had set aside like $14 million, And I have $33 million in salaries. So wait, Blake Trinan is out there? Why isn't he in my bullpen? Is he on like the IL or something? No. Wait, did I miss him? Is Trinan here? Where in the world is he? I don't get it. What in the world? He's not there, right? Am I going crazy? Place on active roster. It was really weird. I don't know where he was. Zero, zero, zero. Okay, cool. So yeah, I think that's the first thing I do is see if I can get some takers for like Blake Trinan. Shop player around. I would like your prospects, please. Thank you. Oh yeah, here we go. Jaron Duran. Decent prospect. Uh, 
uh, let's see. Let's see what else we got here. Luis Gill, Clark Schmidt. He's a decent pitcher. Luis Gill is too, actually. I wonder if they'd give me both those guys for him. Khalil Lee. Really? Um, no one else here really interesting me. Clearly is interesting. So I think I'm going to go to the Yankees and see if they'll give me Clark Schmidt and Luis Gil. So let's, is it heel? Is a G like pronounced like an H, I think? I feel like maybe. Um, I can't remember. No, they're not as into that. So we'd get to negative four million then. What if I retain some salary? So they will do it. Oh, I thought you said yes at 20. It's good if I retain 25%. Will you give me another prospect now? No. What Jameson Tyon? <laughs> uh, let's see who else. DJ LeMayhew, right? You'll trade him to me. Quint Frazier. I guess I still like Quint Frazier in this version. Greg Allen. I don't have any interest in him, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't help us great. So let me see something, actually. Let me see. Let's try not for prospects. I should just <laughs> stop hitting the back button like that. Just go to the page. Let's try for players and see what happens. So it wasn't, I don't know. We don't need to, like, rebuild right off the bat. I mean, like, we suck, but and it would help to get younger players, but let's, like, not shoot right for the rebuild. Christian Javier is a good pitcher, and he can start. I like that idea a lot. Will you give me Josh James, too? Maybe? Ruptured tendon. Ooh. Brandon Bilek, will you give him to me? Uh, Jacob Faria. Mets have a bunch of pitchers they're willing to give up. So yeah, don't mind Javier, but like I wonder if they have a batter they'll give me too out of Houston. Let's look up all the batters we can get. No, no one that we really care about here from Houston. Well, that probably helps to get some depth, I guess. Burrito. Can't play any shortstop though. Nick Gordon's range good. It's 65, not 70, which is what we want. So why don't we try to get Ronnie Dawson and then go in and see if they give us Javier too. No, they won't do that. What if I retain like 5%? Oops. No. All right. So, yeah, I kind of like it just for Javier. I wonder if they're willing to do Bilac. No. So it seems like just one for one. But I don't I, I don't mind this trade at all. I like Christian Javier. His movement isn't great, but yeah. I wonder if they'd retain on any of his salary too. They will. Give me Pedro Baez. Oh, because he's making 5.5. So here's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to see if they'll give me some cash too, because I need some money. So what do you think about like $1 million too? I'll take out Blake Taylor. Okay, so give me more than a million. Um, so this video is for all you guys who want to see me like play the game and not just recap it. I'm still mulling over your proposal. One five zero 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 zero. All right, I'll stop there. One point five mil.
Brett Conine's a decent pitcher. Will you give him to me too? No. All right, we're doing this, and we'll be only at the negative two point five mil. Nice. All right, let's go back to our front office, and I'm gonna market size. Fan interest is very high, though. Salaries. Joey Wendell's making a lot. Honestly, Albert Almora is he starting for us? No. All right, you're making too much money for this expansion team, pal. Too much money. Let's see. Can we get an offer for him? Los Angeles is mildly interested. Oh, that's a decent player. I mean, there are a bunch of decent players here. <laughs> if I could get Bush and Amaya, I would do it. So Amaya's at AAA. Let's see. Let's go to the AAA team. There's Bush, Amaya. Okay, he will do it. And by the way, we're also going to need your next best player, FYI, who is like nobody. Oh, they'll give me Ryan Noda. Like, what else are you willing to give me? Can I just look at your best prospects and just propose some crazy stuff? <laughs> okay, figured figured that was a no-go. Oh, they'll give me this guy. I mean, he's a reliever, but he's a pretty good player. Andy Pahis is not a bad player. Man, I might be able to get like another decent piece in here. Maybe not one of these guys, but. I feel like. I feel like I'm getting a really good deal here. Jack Little, too. And they were also willing to get. Are they still want to throw in Nick Robertson? No, maybe not. Yeah, I like Nick Roberts, and I'd like to get him in. And then Jack Little, maybe? And what do you say about, like, some money? Let's see if we can get them to give us 1.5 mil. No, I don't think they're going to give me any money. All right, cool. So they're gonna be two hundred thousand. All right. So is there anybody else that we need to trade right now? Like Nick Anderson isn't too expensive, but he probably has pretty good trade value. He's only making eight hundred sixty thousand. But and Drew Steckenrider too. Like, does he have trade value? Let's see. Yeah. Wow. Lots. Lots of names popping up here. So this strategy of drafting a bunch of really good relievers who are exposed because they're relievers and then trading them for players okay well i guess nobody's too good here is popping up i guess i should i just saw a bunch of names and i was excited but it turns out it's a bunch of meh players i'm not really worried about position right now that i'm trading for because i'm just trying to bring in talent jared walsh but not quite the jared walsh that we know and love today in the majors dennis santana that's a Good starting pitcher, man. The Dodgers are super interested in strengthening their bullpen, it appears. Um, who's this guy? Can he start at all? Oh, he can. Doesn't look bad. And these are regulars, not prospects here. Oh, Cole Tucker is an okay enough player, right? He's got good work ethic. What did he do last year? He was, he was good. He put up three war. Kevin Newman's out there. All right, I'm going to come back to you, Pittsburgh, for sure. Justice Sheffield. Eh, okay. So, yeah, I'm interested in Cole Tucker and Kevin Newman. You think they'll give me both? And Newman. Can't afford it. Damn. 
likes the offer. He just needs a little bit more. Yeah. Let's see, if we, I'm just seeing if I can get a prospect. Oh, that's our active roster. Got it. Um, Oviedo. No. All right, let's check out their prospects. See if there's somebody I can get. Oh, they have Kumar Rocco. That's funny. All right, they really like their top prospects. Yeah, they're not too into this. They're very insulted. All right, and this gets us into the green too. So we get Steckenrider, Rider, Tucker, 355,000 in cash. Cool, let's complete that trade. So let's go take stock of this team now. Uh, where did those guys go that I traded for? <laughs> there they are, all right. But I traded for a bunch of minor leaguers too and I don't understand why they're not showing up anywhere. Maybe let's skip a day and see what happens. Now we're getting the auto save. End of the month auto save. Are they? Oh, wait, oh, here they are. Yeah. But they're like not Rule Five eligible, so there's really no reason for me to add them right now. I mean, yeah. There's no need for me to add any of these guys. So they're just like triple A depth right now, but I like all those players. Um, pitching side of things, what's Javier doing? Oh, he's our number two now. All right, and who is the hitter I just traded for? Oh, Cole Tucker, he's in as the starting third baseman. Nice. So is there any other reliever here? So Nick, oh, I didn't trade Nick Anderson yet either. Let's see what we can get for him. Let's just go all players. I think we might get the best offers for him. I think he's the best guy we've put out there. I've seen some names that I like coming across the screen here. Wow, Austin Riley. Jesus, really? I mean, now Riley, of course, was worse than league average in this last year. Like he isn't the Riley who just dominated in real life right so again temper your expectations but that's still a good player jose de leon lucas sims tristan mckenzie spencer turnbull frankie martin is it's a good pitcher akiti's there too fromber sandoval berea Santana, we've already seen. King, Nelson, Lewis Thorpe, Guy Horme. Uh, he's a good good bench player. Great starter for my team, but I don't want him. Chris Paddock? Morayhan? What? Are they serious? Okay, coming back to that for sure. Luis Torrens, some decent players here. Yeah, so uh, Morejon. Will they put in Paddock too? That will be over our budget, dang. Um, let's just do it from Rejo now, and then we'll come back and ship around Fairbanks, probably. Do you want to get rid of Manny's salary? Just wondering. Just kidding. Um, but I wonder if I can get, like, a prospect from him. Mason Fox. Former Orioles legend. Yeah, we're bringing him in. Yeah. All right. Done deal. Cool. Let's skip to the next day. I think we're building like a respectable roster here. Um, 
Mason Fox will stay down in the minors. Now, he might be too good to keep down the minors. <laughs> He's better than most of my bullpen after the trades that I've made. Um, so Morejon comes in, and he's awesome. Where's he going to go on our staff? Number one starter. See, we just brought in our number one starter. Let's go. We've got our one and a three in these trades. So I think that's enough for this episode. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe I should try to trade, like, A.J. Minter. Does he have any value? <laughs> it's never going to be enough until I trade it. I just saw Joe Adele's name go across the top. Stop it. Stop it right now. Not all that highly touted by my scout. OSA is a little higher on him, but he did really well in AAA last year. Um, Jared Walsh again, we've talked about. Pagan. What if I just like ask for a prospect? Bring me your best prospect. Brett Conine is okay. Solomon. Who's this guy? Not a bad player. Didn't have a good year last year in AAA. Luis Heal is here again. Hmm. Khalil Lee again. So nobody remarkable. Yeah, Walsh being a first baseman doesn't interest me that much, but you know, Joe Adele can't really play anywhere except corner outfield, so. Let's go Adele and then see if they'll give us Walsh too because they've been very willing to give him up. Doesn't look like it, no. How about a relief prospect? Do you have a good relief prospect? This guy, no? Wow. All right, I'm going to do it for Joe Adele though. Who's my first baseman? Should I be trading for Walsh here? Matt Beatty? Yeah, let's trade for Walsh. He's going to be my first baseman. Adele's just a corner outfielder in this game, honestly. Like, my scout doesn't think he's that great. Where did Walsh go? All right. Yeah, let's just do that. Will they retain his salary? I'd really appreciate that. Not much of it, if they will. All right, so 20%. We're up to one point, a nice 1.69 available. All right, so now we'll go and we'll add Walsh to the active roster. And he's now our cleanup hitter. And DH, look at all these lefties. That might be a problem. That might be a problem. Uh, who would I trade? Probably Beatty, obviously. Um, honestly, I mean. Um, But he can play so many positions. I'd hate to do that. Honestly, man, what, what if we turn around and tried to trade Jared Walsh? Let's see if a see if a market out here. Yeah, because Walsh doesn't really fit, man. Like, oh, the O's have Evan White. He's a right-handed hitting first baseman who didn't do much last year. DJ Stewart, shout out. Albert Alzale. I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, Walsh definitely has trade value. Dennis Santana. Dodgers forever trying to get rid of him. Um, all right. I like that Evan White idea. I do like that Evan White idea. John Means is not the real John Means in this. Don't worry. Like, he's just, he didn't have that breakout year. But he's probably, honestly, like a decent player for me. Let's see if they'll put him in. John Means, John Means. Did I skip him? Did I miss him? I did. I missed him again? Where the hell is he? Oh, there he is. All right. Ah, I can't afford him. So we're losing money. Yeah, I don't really 
I want means. I'll do it for Evan White, though. All right, because it gives us a righty. We need more righties, so let's just do that. I wonder how the Orioles got Evan White. I'm going to go look at that in a minute. Uh, okay, so now White's a cleanup hitter, first baseman. Cool. I love it. Uh, they got him for Fry and Bradish. Okay. So now what, like, we have, we need another pitcher on our staff. But we still have Pete Fairbanks, who has a decent arm to trade. Just going to keep, keep trading these relievers and building a team doing it. Uh, you mean Mercedes is out there. That's awesome. Alzale again. He'd probably be a pretty good starter on my team. Paul Campbell. The Astros are still willing to give up like any of their starters for a reliever. Why is it guy? It's a pretty decent player. King's a decent player. I hope you guys aren't too bored watching this. I'm just kind of playing and recording, which I don't do that often. Chris Paddock's still out there. Joey Bart? What? Oh, wow. He's not thought of that well. Oh, he was really bad last year in AAA. And he wasn't a top 100 prospect. Wow. How the mighty have fallen. Or something. Yuna Heim. Hmm. Uh... Jake Cronenworth's out there. Chris Paddock seems like a decent get. So does Cronenworth, but he's a lefty. Don't really want that. Jorge Mateo. Eh. Yeah, I kind of want to bring in Paddock. Is he making too much money? I mean, I prefer Paddock to Fairbanks because he can start. Like, that's that's the reason here. And he's his age, too, obviously. Can I also get a prospect from you? Um, like this guy. No. All right, so I'm just going to do Fairbanks for Paddock. I like it. Let's do it. Um, let's bring Paddock on board. Update staff. We got a new number one starter. Look at this. We got our two top starters from the Padres. <laughs> uh, just keep rolling here. Just like keep rolling. Trade Kevin Ginkle now. Oh wait, I gotta I gotta go for today. I guess I'm out of all my shops. I wonder how long this video is that I've just been trading, <laughs> just playing straight through. Uh, let's do this. Kevin Ginkle. All right, uh, bunch of like relievers, which I'm not that excited about. Ben Gamble, Turnbull, Brandon Bilek, Jake Faria, Dennis Santana still out there. You know, I don't mind Nick Gordon. It's a decent player. Does he have options left? No. I really don't mind Nick Gordon, though. I'd kind of like to trade for him. Or not like trade for him, but like he's a player I'm interested in that they're offering. Kevin Newman too, though, honestly. <laughs> yeah, like maybe Newman. It's more versatile in terms of his experience. Brew Baker. <laughs> All right, let's do Newman. It's a little bit more expensive, so. All right, they're willing to take 50%. All right, let's do that trade. 
I think Kevin Newman's a pretty good uh, expansion draft bat. We're going to need to bring some more pitchers in. We've only got 12 on our roster right now. I think I've pretty much whittled away all the really – hold on. <laughs> Spook two in. I think Jose Alvarado will have some trade value. Hold the phone. Ben Gamble. Jordan Luplo. This is a, he's a decent decent player. Renato Nunez is out there. Uh, I'll hold on to Jose for now. None of those offers really do it for me. Uh, bum bum. Nobody designated for assignment. All right, let's look at the lineups. So Kevin Newman comes in as our starting shortstop. Wow, that's surprising. All right, so I'm going to end it here, guys. I've been playing for a while, <laughs> just kind of meandering through this video. Hopefully uh, this was all right. I know sometimes some of you want me to like play this out and more <laughs> like this and record videos where I don't cut it and edit it as much. Um, but this is what you get. Just me meandering through it, rambling. Um, but, you know, I'm okay with this team. Like, it's bad. Don't get me wrong. It's bad. But uh, we're going to we're gonna continue to work here. And, you know, we've got $670,000 to go out and sign a free agent. So suck it, you know. Just suck it. No. <laughs> There's really no more salary. I guess we could trade Joey Wendell. Is he a starter for us? Oh, he's not even a starter for us? And he's making $4 million? Get him out of here. Yeah, we got to trade Joey Wendell ASAP. Oh, they'll trade, a, trade us Hunter Dozier. He's making like the same amount of money. No thanks. Griffin Canning. Eh, there might not be a deal out here. Luis Guillorme is a good player, and he's making way left, less. But he bats left. That's okay, though. We're going to do it. How much money will you eat, Mets? He'll eat 80%. Will you give me this guy, too? No. How about this guy? How about Khalil Lee? No. All right, I'm going to do this deal. Get way cheaper. Similar player. Guillaume has trade value, too. I know from doing a met sim uh so he's now our starting second baseman and his range is really good it's 65 it's better than our starting shortstop's range uh cole T tucker's got a 55 range yeah all right so guillaume is another lefty bat but that's all right we'll survive um all right guys talk to you next time we'll uh, go forward a little bit and i'll show you how this team's shaping up for opening day take care